there everybody, big warm welcome back to my channel and to my latest, newest and certainly I think biggest Primark haul. I feel like I got loads of stuff this month. Um, because there was loads of spring, summer stock in at the moment, so lots of things I just couldn't resist. Even though it is still quite cold outside, I just, I'm really looking forward to the spring summer fashion this year, so yeah, I got some stuff. If you are a subscriber, then welcome back. Thank you so much for subscribing. If you're not, please don't forget to subscribe before you go, and then you won't miss any future videos. I upload a couple of times a week about mostly motherhood stuff, just general life vlogs, what my life is like, lots of cleaning, lots of shopping. So if you subscribe before you go, then you don't miss out. So I'm gonna do this Primark haul a little bit differently because I'm gonna do a try on as well. So I'm gonna show you everything I bought, but I'm also gonna try on everything I bought so that you can get a clear idea of whether it might be something that you would like. And I'm literally gonna start straight away because I am wearing an outfit that I got from Primark. So I'm gonna start with the jumper that I'm wearing. This, let me get up a bit so you can actually see. This is actually cropped, so it stops sort of here on my midriff, and it's high neck as well, and it's in a sort of creamy beige color, which I really like. This jumper was five pounds, and I just couldn't resist it. I am a bit annoyed though, because I accidentally picked up an extra small. You know what, prim typical Primark, I love you Primark, but your hangers and your tags never match. So the hanger said small, the actual tag is extra small. Do you know, it's not too bad, it's a bit tight around the old neck area. But I have kept the label on because I think I might try and go back and change it for a small. But I've teamed this jumper with one of the many pairs of trousers that I got. <laughs> It was like Trouser City in there. There were so many trousers, all different styles. They had lots of jogger trousers, which I've got a pair on right now. They had loads of like cargo trousers, which I didn't get. They looked really cool on the model, but I was like, I don't know if I can pull that off. But I did like them. I got some culottes, which you'll see in a minute. I got some like really wide leg summery trousers. I got some jeans as well. But the trousers I've put on first are the jogger trousers. Now it calls them joggers, but I think they're a lot smarter than joggers. They're a sort of cottony, thin cotton material and an elastic waist with a tie at the front. And yeah, I just think they're like a smart jogger. They were only seven pounds. I've turned up the bottom, but I really like them. I like them with this jumper as well. Yeah, I think the two go quite nicely together. So they're calling them joggers. There were a hundred different colours, but I liked the sort of khaki. Khaki. Oh, God. I literally did this on my last Primark call, and one of my subscribers told me that I was saying it wrong, and I think the right way is khaki, not khaki. <laughs> anyway, this is the colour I chose, but there were so many colours, and now I've got them on, and I love them. I really wish I got some more. But yeah, £7. £7 for a pair of summer trousers. You can't go wrong with that. Okay, these are the pairs of jeans that I was telling you about, and they are called the Paper Bag Waist Jeans, and I'll show you why. So as you can see, the waist is cinched in with this tied bow, and the, the top is all like frayed as well. I guess it, that's why they're called a paper bag waist, because it gives the illusion of a sort of paper bag. And I'll be honest with you, I didn't think I was gonna like these, but, I kind of am. Yeah, I'm actually, I actually really like these. And I've surprised myself. They're kind of a mum jean style, so they're quite baggy. And again, the bottom is turned up. But I just really like this bit. And it goes with this jumper, I think, as well. Hmm, I'm pleasantly surprised by those. So yeah, they are called the Paper Bag Waist Jean and they were £13. Okay, so the pair of trousers I've got on now are called Colottes. This is the first pair of Colottes that I've ever actually tried on. And I'm going to be honest with you, I'm not completely, I'm not completely sold. Okay, so here they are. I'm not completely convinced. I don't know if you can see, but they are cropped. They stop sort of here. I see Colottes on other people and I just love them, but... I just don't know if they're for me. Maybe if there was 
with like a little top in the summer I just feel a bit feel a bit bigger than I am in these maybe you're a huge collot lover and these will be the trousers for you but I don't know if they're the trousers for me. So they were 13 pounds. There were so many different colors of collots, by the way, if you are a collot person. I do like the top, which is promising for my next pair of trousers, but yeah, I think these are going back. Okay, so I've got another pair of trousers on. I did warn you, I got so many pairs of trousers. I've just realized I put my glasses on. I don't remember even putting those on. <laughs> I'll take them off. I honestly don't remember putting them on. So these are called, and I'm going to show you them properly in a second. They are called the wide leg trouser. Now, I saw these and I just picked them up because I've seen so many pictures of girls on Instagram or whatever wearing these wide, flowy trousers in the summer with you know, a little top and they just look so good. So I was like, yeah. They're loads of colours as well. They're only £15. But I'm going to show you what the problem is. Okay, this is the problem. <laughs> this is such a big problem. I'm a short person, okay? And this is what happens when short people buy trousers. I can't even see my feet. They are so long. It's such a shame because I actually think that they're really nice. But, and, but it did take, I will warn you, it took me about 20 minutes to put them on because of all these fiddly buttons. But I do really like them, but I don't think there's anything I can do about that. That just looks ridiculous. I'm a bit gutted because I really like them, but oh my god, I can't walk around like that. And I'm no seamstress, so I would not even know where to begin to turn these up. They're nice though, aren't they? What a shame. £15. If you are not incredibly short like myself, definitely get them. Right, I've actually finished the trousers now. I told you there was a lot of trousers. This next item I've got on is actually a dress. And I love stripes at the moment. There were so many stripes in Primark and I really liked this. It's a mustard and white striped dress. And I just had it on for like a good five minutes before I realized that there were armholes. <laughs> I thought it was just like a bandeau dress that just went across the front, but it has actually got armholes for you to put your arms in, Ellie. And I think uh, it's a lot more comfortable with your arms in the holes. There you go, spoiler alert. As long as it stays on your shoulders. The thing about these dresses is when you reach up, it's like, oh, hi, hi, and then suddenly you look like a clown or something. You have to keep it down, so that can be a bit irritating. So it's quite short. It comes up to like just above my knee. I do quite like it. I mean, if we're going to have really hot weather like we did last summer, that it's just really easy to throw on. I don't know if it's the most flattering dress I've ever worn. But it's okay, isn't it, for something that you're just going to literally, like, throw on. I was just debating whether to take it back or not, but I've just realised from the label that it was £6. For £6, for something I will probably throw on in the summer. It's not too bad, is it? There were lots of different designs as well. So, my next item, and actually my last item of of clothing that's for me is this jumpsuit so I'm really happy with this this was 15 pounds and I was a bit upset because I didn't have a size 8 I had to get a size 10 but as you can see from the front it's mustard white and black striped and it has this sort of bow detail on the front it zips up the back and it's a straight leg so these wide legs straight legs are just everywhere at the moment and this has got them the one thing i wish it had is pockets i love jumpsuits for pockets but it doesn't it's cropped as well so it comes like just above my ankle even though it's a 10 i think it fits quite well i think it'll just be something i can easily like throw on in the summer on a hot day so i'm pleased with that that might be my favorite my favourite find, actually. I also got, in keeping with the spring, summer thing, I know it's a bit mad to buy all this spring, summer stuff, but the thing I've learned with Primark, I've been going to Primark for a long time now, when you see something you like in Primark, you have to get it because it goes. If you, Even if you were to go a week later, that item won't be there. Like, their stock turnaround is crazy. So if you see something you like, just, just go for it. So this is something I won't be wearing for a very long time. But it was £3, so I got myself my first ever hat. Would you call this a straw hat? I guess it is a straw hat. I've never worn one before but they always look great on other people and I've just tried it on and I actually I actually quite like it. It was three pounds and I think in the summer 
got a bikini on okay let's be realistic i've got a swimming costume on i'm not brave enough to wear a bikini got this on won't have any makeup on so this hides a multitude of sins i like it so three pounds well spent i think they did have a few different colors and styles but i thought black will go with most of my things okay i know i just said to you that i don't wear bikinis and i don't really i'm a swimsuit lover but i actually bought one now i don't feel very happy in myself at the moment i'm carrying some christmas luggage shall we call it which i need to shift i just can't be bothered <laughs> so i thought i really like that bikini i'm gonna buy it and hopefully it will entice me to not eat an easter egg every night at the moment S stripes again there were so many stripes so this is the top it's like a bandeau style top you've probably worked this out already but i'm not going to be trying this on for you okay sorry so there's a bandeau style top and the color is like quite unusual it's white and this is actually brown like a really light brown so i like the bandeau top that was six pounds i got that in a 10 just because i i don't quite add up like i'm a bit bigger on this end than i am on that end so i got a 10 for the top but i actually also ended up getting a 10 in the bottoms as well the eight looked really small and i was like Ooh. so i played it safe and got a 10 I don't know, let's see, let's see how successful I am, if I really am feeling it then maybe you'll see this on my Instagram in the summer, if you don't then you know that I just got carried away with the Easter eggs I guess. Did I tell you how much the bottoms were? The top was six, the bottoms were four, so the whole bikini was ten pounds, I mean that's crazy. They had a couple of other nice ones, they had one that was like a high, with high waisted bottoms and I was like ooh, and then I chickened out, but it was really nice. Okay, my last few items are all about my son. I saved them till the end because if you're not interested in what I got for my two-year-old son, then don't worry. And if you are, then keep watching. He's really short on t-shirts at the moment, so I literally just got him a few t-shirts. Primark is brilliant for t-shirts. He saw this, didn't he? He saw it on the display, so I was like, oh, I'm gonna have to get it now. He was so excited when he saw it. For Primark, like all these other t-shirts were about a pound. This was four pound fifty but he was so excited to see it so i just had to get it so spider-man t-shirt i got it in one and a half to two like he is two but the sizing there looked quite big and he is a little dot so i got him that one over to the cheap t-shirts now they always have like a stand on there with just t-shirts and t-shirts and they had a few nice ones this one they're all in size 24 to 36 so one pound 30 each i got this one of course I got this one. Are you even a mum if you don't pick this up and buy this? He is to wear this with pride. And I love that colour. I love mustard. Clint loves mustard as well, so I know he'll like that. I got a camo one because he has quite a lot of camo. I love a little boy in camo. I got a stripey one because I thought that's nice and summery and stripes are just everywhere. Look, he can match his ma. And this one. This is not as orange as it looks in my camera. It's more of a mustard and it's camo on the logo he has a little ledge so i had to get that but that's it we got there we got there eventually that was my march primark haul hope you enjoyed it i hope it inspired you a little bit to go down primark see what you can find some bits were successful some bits not so much i have a little bag of things that i will be taking back or exchanging happens like i said at the beginning don't forget to subscribe before you go it would mean so much to me and give me a thumbs up and i shall see you in my next video